by Gateway Foundation, Addiction Medicine, Saving Lives. Welcome back. Recent data shows that overdoses involving antidepressants have been climbing each year from 1999 to 2022 in the U.S. National correspondent Jeff Harris spoke with experts to find out why. I'm told when you take a closer look at this data, antidepressant overdoses without opioid use have been fairly steady over the years. But there is an increase in overdoses when opioids and antidepressants are used together. Randall Tackett, a professor at the University of Georgia, tells us he believes there are a few reasons more antidepressant overdoses are being reported. I think there's a number of things that come into play with the antidepressants. Um, number one is I think we're seeing more of them actually being prescribed. Tackett says another reason could be because people are taking antidepressants with other drugs. Antidepressants are not uncommonly prescribed with um, narcotics and pain relieving drugs. And so you have a good mix there that could be potentially an issue. According to analysis of CDC overdose data, suicides involving antidepressants increased 2% each year from 1999 to 2015. But since then, Scott Thompson, a professor at the University of Colorado, says they have been steady. But since 2015, uh, the, the number of suicides attributed to antidepressants has been truly stable. Something Thompson says isn't the case for other drugs over the same time period. The number of, of uh, deaths attributed to opioids has increased 20-fold. So uh, again, antidepressants are largely safe. Now, experts also say antidepressants could increase the risk that someone becomes suicidal. Back in 2004, the FDA introduced a black box label warning that antidepressants could lead to suicide in adolescents and also young adults. I'm Jeff Harris reporting from Washington. Thank you, Jeff. If you or someone you know are battling with suicidal thoughts, there is a 24-hour hotline to help you. Just call or text 988. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.